if you walk out to check on your calves and notice a calf that is lying around more than seems normal, has drooping ears, or is especially easy to catch, odds are that calf isn't feeling very well. And according to one veterinarian I spoke with, summer pneumonia may be the cause. Now, this is something that can be contagious from calf to calf, but isn't something you'd see spread from calf to cow. And usually, larger herds are more susceptible. Generally, herds with more than 500 cows are, are at increased risk. Uh, and then also herds that do an estrus synchronization program are at higher risk. And we think that that is just due to a higher number of what we call effective contacts. Uh, meaning a, a, an example or a, an analogy of an effective contact would be something like a person with, uh, with uh, a cold sneezing or coughing into their hand and then touching a doorknob and then another person coming along behind them unaware and touching that same doorknob. Dr. Clark tells me summer pneumonia is especially prevalent this season due to the extreme weather earlier this year. It weakened cows, and as a result, the colostrum for newborn calves was lower quality. And there are other stressors, too. Certainly any of the major stressors are going to come into play here. Weather stress, heat stress, uh, uh, transport. If you have to haul cattle a long way to summer grass, then uh, after they arrive, they're going to be at higher risk of this condition for a, probably a period of about two weeks. Uh, and then after that, things should kind of stabilize. Another risk factor that comes to mind is that if in a herd where they have fought scours already this year, uh, those calves are going to be at higher risk for summer pneumonia as well. Uh, the scours being an indication that their immunity is reduced for some reason. And uh, so they're going to be more susceptible to things like summer pneumonia. As for treatment, you can usually get summer pneumonia under control if you hit it early. Preventative vaccines are key too. And Dr. Clark recommends consulting with your vet to get a plan in place.